Hey guys, um, a lot of you guys asked me what I use to take care of my knives. Uh, the stuff I love the most, you know, but remember, field expedient methods. You're out in the field, you don't have anything to coat your high carbon steel knife with and all that. God, just take the dipstick out of your you know, vehicle and take some of the oil off the dipstick and just put it on your uh, knife. That's, that's a good way. Uh, olive oil, any of that stuff, clove oil. Uh, if you're using it for eating and different stuff like that, clove oil, olive oil is really good. Uh, but this is my very favorite, and we did a thing where K Pack, uh, son of a, yeah, so anyway, I won't say this because Blitz is probably going to watch this. Um, yeah, he, uh, we did a really neat thing with Flitz. It was really cool. And uh, so I'm hopefully I'm gonna make up for this. Uh, rusting knives, the rusted. This stuff, it's a metal polish. It's really, really cool. This is a little scotch bright. You can see the rust on here. What I'm gonna do is take this and I'm gonna sit there and scrub it, scrub it. You know, and you can use a real fine steel wool. You know, you can even use certain um, things of uh, oh, paper towel that's rougher. Actually, I took a Bill Bagwell knife that I had to fix, and uh, it's high carbon. And I actually ended up, what am I doing? Um, oh, uh, just taking uh, a rougher paper towel to it. And God, it made it look like it was great. This guy really thrashed it. And uh, God bless Bill Bagwell. He's a good guy. I like Bill. I haven't seen him for a long time. God, look, I'm getting a little dirty. You know, but this is a high carbon steel knife. It's a little bit of rust. And we're going to see how good we did on this. Take this. Look at that. All those little rust is gone from it. Isn't that neat? Really that's nice. cool. And it, it puts a protective layer on it too. But I found something really cool they showed me that I just love. Is this stuff. This is a uh, rifle gun and knife wax. And it is really cool stuff. You can, I think this will... You know, I, I've tested this before where I put it in water. I made a little salt solution, put one of my knives in there, and it beads up on that. You know, so it's really nice. Uh, and it, like I said, it will protect, pet, protect your knife, but this stuff kicks butt. And you just put, coat this. And I notice what I've been doing you know, on my blades what I've been doing lately is when they're heated up so much, especially in Damascus, I'll put this stuff on it and it goes down in the little grooves and different stuff. It's really cool. So go like that, just wipe it down and watch this. We'll put that little drop on there and it just beads off. Look at this. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Nice. And it protects it. And you can use this on your guns. It's really nice stuff, guys. It's really cool stuff. Um, made by Flitz. Uh, you just can't beat it. This is a little kit they have that you can look right there. But I use Flitz for everything. I use Flitz on my motorcycle casings. Uh, God, I use it on, you know, uh, gold. I use it, you know, on my, you know, uh, rings. In fact, I had to put a little bit on this ring. Let's see. My custom fits and skull ring with the predator mark. Get this all. We'll take this and this will polish it up, make it look cool. Really cool. Look at that. It's coming right up. Look at that. Nice and clean. <laughs> yeah. Look at the pair. It's cool stuff. Really good. So there's so many uses for it. It's just unreal. I'm gonna keep my rings pretty clean because they're always gone. And you can see the little sheen. This rings, and you can see all the marks in it. All the shit that's been. Isn't that cool though? 
those rings depends on what you want yeah silver is pretty expensive and look how thick that is <laughs> yeah it's cool with their little finish but anyway that's what i use flits i love it i swear by it i've been using this for god oh my god i think for over 20 years i got turned on to it when i was a ring maker at a uh, place here in uh, salt lake i used to do jewelry left and right now i got my buddy dave i had to just tell him what i want and i don't have to deal with it but isn't that cool how beautiful that looks you know and it protect all these knives all that i'll put some on this what do you think I think it's really slick. I mean, definitely even when you're going somewhere humid and or even if it's your hot and you're yeah. doing concealed carry and say you have inside the waistband holster, exactly. your gun's right up against exactly. you. Exactly. You're going to be Good. sweating and you yeah. want that moisture off your weapon. Yeah, especially. And this is, I'm glad you brought this up. This is really good for high carbon pocket knives. Really good. You know, I'll put some, some of this on about every week and it really protects your blade. And yeah, we'll just see how good that goes on that. We'll just put a drop, look at that. Just runs right down, beads up. Isn't that cool? So, and like I said, it leaves a little protective coating. It's really neat. So, it'll help you out. So remember, Blitz, this is a little package they sent me. I, I haven't opened it up. I just think it's so cool. I, I show people and I say, this is what you need to get. So look it up. If you talk to the company, you know, Flitz, um, you know, tell them John Fitson, Razor's Edge, uh, told you about it. Uh, the number here, oh, there's a couple of numbers right here. Can you get that or not? Yeah. yeah there's the numbers. You can call up and tell them, say, God, that knife guy, John Fitson, Razor's Edge. So, anyway, got to get it great stuff this thing it is I usually let you guys make up your own mind this is almost like mandatory it's really good stuff I've gone through all this stuff this is the bomb this is what I use on my knives so okay guys thanks for tuning in uh, love you guys keep watching and come up with some other neat stuff you'll like talk to you later bye